gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant good morning to you and welcome to LACNIC on the Move Belize. We are pleased to see the attendees here in this virtual event. My name is Kevin Swift and I'll be your master of ceremonies for this two-day activity. LACNIC on the Move is an ongoing public awareness campaign in Central America and the Caribbean, which brings together local technical communities and other key players of the internet ecosystem to share information, experiences, and best practices on a variety of topics. This is our second LACNIC on the Move in Belize, but the first virtual one, and we are grateful to the kind support provided by the Belizean Internet Exchange Point, and specifically Ms. Stacy Mendoza and Mr. Etienne Sharp and all of the BIXP team. We will start with opening remarks by Mr. Etienne Sharp. As you may be aware, ATN is multifaceted and is associated with the BIXP, the Belize Association of ICT Professionals, and the PUC. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming ATN to the virtual floor to give his remarks. ATN, the floor is yours. Morning, and, and thanks for those kind words, Kevon. Um, yes, um, and welcome back. It feels like we've been uh, disjointed from our LACNIC family. Uh, because of COVID, obviously. And, um, but I can assure you that, that in Belize, um, the good fight goes on. We, the Belize is an exchange point, obviously, um, like, like most other entities, has been um, stagnated, and we're only this year looking to move forward. But that, and that also accentuates the, the need for this session in terms of uh, IPv6, which we'll be continuing to push in Belize, um, and uh, especially the larger providers who have not taken it up. Um, and also, along with that, DNSSEC IP and DNS for IPv6, and that's very important. Um, those two very much go hand in hand. Um, we've had a change in the in the the board of the IX, and now Ms. Stacey Mendoza has taken on the the um, the role. She um, is owner and director of Alternative Networks, um, one of the one of the smaller providers here that offers. Um, wireless and FTTH um, services in Belize. Um, but as part of the IX, we have all the larger players, um, PTL, Smart, and the large incumbents, and we also have um, the smaller players. So all in all, we have about 80, 90% of the Belizean traffic at, at the present IX, at the present location. Um, and, and like I mentioned before, we'd had, we've had um, very good support from both LACNIC um, and PCH and ICANN, um, with respect to trainings um, of various different things. Guillermo has been here before, um, and we've also had support from, from, um, from, from different entities, uh, specifically with IPv6 initially, um, and then, uh, sorry, BGP initially, and then IPv6. And now, really, I, I feel it's the best time to reinvigorate that IPv6 adoption uh, in Belize, um, especially with the larger providers at, at present still, as per our last meeting, um, it's only really Centaur um, who offers um, IPv6, uh, well, dual stack to all the customers, of which I am one. Um, the others offer it to select customers, to, to um, enterprise, but not generally to every single uh, customer natively. Um, so I think the, the, the initiative is the right time for us to, to, to put this together. And I, I must give uh, Kevon, um, some credit in terms of pushing us really hard because as you'll be well aware, everybody's in survival mode. Um, so including everybody here in Belize. So it's been hard to actually even get people to actually acknowledge that we're doing this and acknowledge that it's important. And, but I feel the time is right for us to push ahead and um, reinvigorate what, we've, what we started uh, a couple of years ago now. Um, in terms of the impact of COVID, um, and it's never been more important. The IX has never been, never been more important because of online, online education. Again, it seems that this year coming, we're gonna have another year of mainly online education and uh, distance, um, distance um, work. Um, because of our increasing numbers, many enterprises, including portions of the government, have gone on a rotation base where some people stay home for the day and some people come to work. Um, so more and more, um, networks have, have become important, and because of that, they've become targets. We've seen ransomware, we've seen phishing, we've seen a lot of different um, uh, uh, 
issues as as the rise of the internet because of COVID um, um, happens, you know. So it's it's like I said before, and I can say it again, it's 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 probably the, the most important time for us to push forward with what with what we're doing here in Belize. So I'd I'd really like to thank uh, Oscar and everybody else, at Carlos and everybody else at Latin. You guys do a tremendous job um, in in helping us, especially small island nations, even though we're not an island. Um, but we're referred to that way um, with the skill sets that that especially the smaller providers don't have. That's very important for us to continue to hammer home. And uh, many of them now are now seeing the importance of IPv6 because IPv4 is totally exhausted and looking at doing uh, uh, six over four and, and different and different things like that. So I am I'm quite excited to see um, uh, a resurgence, even from the, like the IX team um, to to look at the, these different um, technologies and, and embrace them. So that said, um, yeah, that's pretty much an update of, of, of where we are in Belize. The, like I said, the importance could not come at a better time. And it's a time when we are looking to um, reinvigorate the IX especially, but on a whole, the, the, the distance learning for, for our, for our um, networking professionals. Thank you so much, Etienne, and it's very good to hear those encouraging words from you and others with Belize that are continuing to work on the Belizean internet experience. At this point in time, we will continue now with opening remarks from the Executive Director of LACNIC, Mr. Oscar Robles. Thank you, Oscar, the virtual floor is yours. Thank you, Kevin, and um, thanks, uh, Etienne, uh, for your leadership in this community. Uh, welcome to LACNIC on the Move. Uh, we really appreciate your participation. We know there are many uh, webinar and Zoom conferences on these days, so we really appreciate you could be with us. This is the, the second LACNIC on the Move in Belize, uh, but this is the first virtual edition. Uh, the first LACNIC on the Move uh, was in uh, six years ago, and uh, it was a one-day activity uh, together with uh, our friends of uh, Caribno. Um, as, as part of this uh, communication and uh, collaboration with the Belizean internet community, we conducted some visits uh, back in 2018. Uh, at that time, um, IPv6 deployment was not perceived as relevant by the big operators, telecom operators. It was uh, different though, in the medium ISPs, they were ready to deploy IPv6 and they started to do so. Uh, uh, and then uh, they, they, they've been doing that consist consistently since uh, January 2019. So today Belize is among top Caribbean countries, top Caribbean economies on IPv6 deployment to end users uh, around 8% of uh, IPv6 deployment. Um, it is always a pleasure to collaborate with the organizations like uh, Belizean IXP, uh, an organization that not only delivers their service, uh, which is uh, uh, relevant uh, enough, but uh, they uh, take their work beyond uh, and uh, they uh, build their community, their work on capacity building, on culture building processes. So uh, it is always a pleasure to work a community like the Belizean uh, you have done an, uh, a very uh, admirable work uh, in, the, uh, in the past years. Uh, you established this uh, Belize exchange point uh, a few years ago, five years ago. Uh, you established your National Internet Governance Forum uh, together, together with the National Cyber Security Symposium. Um, the, you established the National Cyber Security Strategy. Uh, so the, those are... Uh, uh, interesting uh, uh, achievements in the ongoing uh, discussion conversations related to the internet and the digital um, economy matters uh, on, on, on the country. So um, we look forward to keep participating in all these efforts. So uh, coordination among key players is one of the most relevant activities required to address the challenges related to cybersecurity. So uh, I think that these kind of activities are so important um, in uh, addressing those, those challenges. 
we congratulate you for having the uh, opportunity to 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 build these relationships among you to have this um, um, capacity building process um, uh, ongoing process so uh, thank you for let us know uh, help you to 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 deliver some messages information uh, it is our, our pleasure to keep working our pleasure to keep working with you so uh, we hope to uh, see you face to face very soon so keep uh, safe and uh, congratulations for this event thank you very much oscar for those opening remarks at this point in time we have more than 22 attendees here on the session and we certainly expect that this number will continue to go grow as we continue today's proceedings. We will begin immediately with presentations for today's activities. Our first session, which is titled Status of IP Address Request, will be conducted by LACNIC's very own Janina Pensky. Janina is a telecoms engineer and serves as the head of registry services at LACNIC. She previously worked in Alcatel in the 3G optimization department and it's also in, was also in Ikatu Bang and Olufsen with responsibility for automation projects. Janina will be speaking about IPv4 and IPv6 address space and ASNs, including the way the current IPv4 waiting list works among other issues. As a housekeeping note, if you have any questions about the content of the presentations, please write them in the Q&A box and we will answer them. Janina, the virtual floor is yours. <laughs> 